The last part of the fall day hikes uh, with dogs focuses on the trails in the San Gabriel Mountains, uh, Bridge to Nowhere, Cattle Canyon Trail, Ice House Canyon Trail, and the San Antonio Falls. Next up is Cattle Canyon Trail. It is a 7.6 mile hike out and back, about 12.2 kilometers. Nobody was around. Beautiful hike with 25 water crossings. Easy, moderate, since it's all flat with slight ascent and descent, but moderate due to the water crossings and the rocks underneath it. At the beginning, you'll see a locked gate and sign says don't park. And don't park in front of it, just park on the side of the road. And you can go through the path to the left. Um, during the weekends, you will see people picnicking at the beginning of the trail, but not very many people anymore since the pandemic started. And if it is a weekday, you'll probably own the whole trail. There are graffitis around as well on rocks, but don't be discouraged. They're just idiots who don't know how to appreciate nature. Anyway, just keep going. In the fall, the water is not knee deep, but during springtime, you will need waterproof shoes up to your knees or might want to put it off until the water is low or just get wet. Approaching the end of the trail where it's a private property. It's a Thompson Ranch since 1916 where they have cattle and of course residences. There is an entrance around the perimeter but uh, you can't go in 
there and some of the we've seen some of the uh, people that actually go through this gate anyway um, as soon as you reach this it's time to go back The Bridge to Nowhere, this is the second of the four trail on the San Gabriel Mountains. It is about 9.7 miles hike out and back, which is about 14.6 kilometers. So although the bridge is a private property, it is open to hikers. This trip takes you along the banks of the East Fork of the San Gabriel River. Um, it also feeds into the Cattle Canyon Trail. While the river banks are wooden and wooded and quite lovely most of the trail crosses um, rim the crosses the rim above the high water line and most of your travel is through the scrub brush uh, during the time when we went the water is, is not high at all since it's fall you will not be able to hike this after like during springtime or after rainfall so a good time is right now la gets rain between november to april but sporadic no matter what you're still going to get wet the uh, waterproof shoes that you can use waterproof shoes but you're still going to get soaked so just wear good quality hiking shoes so at the beginning of the trail there's a facility there and then when you reach here, there is another one. And then a sign. There's a sign that says Heaton Flats Trail. Don't take that one. There are several trails around here. But if you want to do the bridge to nowhere, just keep going straight. A steep hill here so just be careful on your descent you'll see um, red arrows pointing to the trail and this is one of them
Ignored is the San Antonio Falls in the San Gabriel Mountains. This is the third one to the fourth one that we found as trails for the dogs. Ice House Canyon Trail is a 9.8 mile loop if you're doing the whole thing Thanks for watching you guys for details in each um, trail you can check them out here in this channel and hope this will help future and aspiring hikers to take their dogs out and enjoy the beauty of the Los Angeles area and its surroundings see you guys in the next adventure